Welcome, Vanguard family, to the 2023 fall season women's soccer preview as we have with us new head coach, Emily Reynolds. Coach, welcome to Vanguard. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Good to be here. How was the transition? You came to us from the University of Nevada and talk a little bit about moving here and a little bit about your ambitions for your first head coaching role. Yeah, uh, it was great. I'm from Southern California, so happy to be coming back home. Uh, excited to be at a place like Vanguard. Uh, I love the school. I love being at a, a faith-based institution and being able to have a team where we can also talk about what it looks like to, to grow as soccer players, but to grow as, as people as who God's called us to be. So excited to be here. Cool. And how has been meeting the players and delving into practice a little bit? Uh, it's been fantastic. They uh, are a lively bunch. They have been super welcoming, um, full of energy from day one. Uh, yeah, what are we, like two and a half weeks in? So learning a lot. Uh, excited to have games and see how we're doing. It has certainly flown by because you've had two preseason games already, scrimmage, exhibition. Those are just terms to those two things. But we are almost set for game number one that actually counts as the Batman Bears of Rocky Mountain come in tomorrow at one o'clock. So talk a little bit about what you saw in those preseason games and how practices and training camp have been so far. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, we spent the first week really working on defensive organization. That's kind of a cornerstone of, of our playing style and my philosophy. So it was good to see that come alive in the first two games. Uh, and we've, we've switched gears a little bit to look more at attacking. So that's the hope moving forward. Uh, this weekend is to see that come alive a bit, but the girls have been uh, super excited just to learn and grow and, and start building chemistry together on the field and off the field. Of course, of course. So talk a little bit about the players then. Who do you have at the different position groups and how do you see all that coming together as the season moves along? Yeah, we have a good balance of returners. Uh, brought in seven freshmen, so uh, They've, they've uh, had a warm welcome from the returners and uh, finding out where they fit. I've got some, a lot of really good midfielders, so it makes my job uh, easy and hard to see who's going to go where. Uh, yeah, I've got some, some good attackers um, working with the back line. So uh, between returners and, and the new freshmen, we've got a good squad. How do you, as a coach, balance that? Because at least in college soccer, you can bring in, I mean, as many players as you want to a degree because there's no true hard limit on number of substitutions. But how do you, as a coach, try and balance that out? Yeah, I mean, it's important to have good depth. I want to have uh, a lot of people at each position so that we can, we can rotate and the level stays high. Um, but I think it's important to have uh, not too many, um, just so that uh, we can we can balance everyone feeling valued. Um, but yeah, I think we're at, we're at a good number right now. Cool. And then moving forward, then into the schedule, what do you have a little on Rocky Mountain, and then the rest of your non-conference opposition? I know the NAI is a little new to you since you came from Nevada, and the D1 world is where your head has been out over the past couple of years. But you've got. Rocky Mountain up first, then you have a team in Southern Oregon receiving votes in the NAI preseason poll, as well as a road trip out to the Midwest, taking on Indiana Weston, currently ranked 14, as well as Bethel out there in Indiana. So what do you know, if anything, about the first few non-conference opponents? Yeah, um, I think for, for preseason, for non-conference, uh, we're a lot more focused on us and kind of establishing our style of play and how we're going to defend and attack and I like to have good scouting on the teams that we play uh, but in the beginning I like the girls to try to uh, problem solve and see what they see um, and move from there obviously when we get more into conference we'll uh, have a good have good scouting reports on who we play and uh, and be able to move forward that way but especially as we're starting out the focus is more on uh, ourselves and, and what we're going to do. So excited to have some, some out-of-state teams and especially go to Indiana and have some tougher opponents to prepare us for conference. Uh, so that, you, I mean, that would be good. Are you excited for your first road trip with the team? And you're flying at that. Yes. 
Yes, uh, it's been a while since I've been to Indiana. So, uh, not sure what to expect in terms of weather. Hopefully, uh, something to prepare us for coming back here for conference, but it'll be fun. I mean, it's always fun to fly and travel and hotels and meals, so it's great for bonding. Uh, the men team currently out in Ohio said it is pretty warm, so hopefully it cools down a little bit by the time you get out there yeah. in a week or two's time. Then talk a little bit about the GSAC, what you know. You guys are picked to finish fourth in the conference, but for the first time in a number of years, with West Vermont already up to the Pac West and the NBC AA Division II, the throne is open. The <laughs> new champion could be crowned because they've either been co champions or champions the past four years in regular season, the past three tournament champions. So. What will it take for VU, the last non-Westmont team to solely win the regular season, to maybe surprise the field? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm familiar with Westmont. They've always been a good side. Uh, so good for them for going up to the Pac West. Uh, we'll be there soon. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, we will. But yeah, I mean, I think our goal is just to maximize our potential. And uh, should that lead us to the top of the conference, that'd be fantastic. Uh, I think the girls have, have a lot of drive and motivation and big ambitions. Um, so I'd love to see I'd love to see that happen. Obviously, I'm competitive and, and, and would love to win the conference. Uh, but the overall goal is maximize our potential and, and see where that lands us. But I think uh, there's a lot of belief in this team and a lot of motivation, and I think it's going to bring us far. How to grab all that, put it all together, if you then can express your hopes and dreams for the season, do you, obviously what you just said, but do you have any other expectations or wishes as we, you enter your first full season here? Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, I think my biggest, my biggest hope for the girls is always that uh, they learn more about who they are and who God's created them to be. And I think soccer gives us a great way to do that. Um, so obviously I want us to grow hugely in the game and in our learning and as a team. Uh, but overall, as a coach, my biggest hope for them is that they would grow in the knowledge of uh, how God feels about them, that they're his beloved kid. And that's my biggest hope is what they walk away with at the end of the season. Uh, but obviously also want to develop as a team just foundational things as we move forward uh, throughout the season. Yeah. Well, that sounds great to us. And before we conclude, time for a quick little rapid fire here. So you're new. This is your first season preview video. So we got to hit a few things here. So what is your favorite food? Uh, tacos. And there's a place the girls introduced me to called Taco Mesa in Costa Mesa. And I've already been there a lot of times. <laughs> it's very good. Favorite taco from there so far? Uh, Chili Bear Day, Taco Tuesday. I do like me good chili bear yep. so that, that sounds good. What is your favorite day of the week? <laughs> uh, I don't know, Monday, because we just get back together and go at it hard for another week. Very, very rare answer. I feel like Monday would be the least popular answer, but good for you. <laughs> Love starting out a week. Pi would you rather be a pirate? Or a ninja? And why? Uh, ninja because I don't want to be out in the middle of the ocean on a boat. It sounds kind of scary. Fair. Okay. Not, not any uh, <laughs> deep horizon I like the version. ocean, but not, I don't want to be far out in it. There we go. There we go. Last one then, because I asked this on our bios for every athlete. Do you think you can eat ice cream with your hands? For sure. For sure. Just... Crab and go. I don't want to attempt that right now, <laughs> but I think I could. I think you can do it. All right, beautiful. Well, Coach Emily Reynolds, thanks for stopping in, and we are excited to see you out on the field tomorrow against the Batman Bears of Rocky Mountain. Fans, come out, support all season long. There's a number of home games for the non conference portion of the schedule again starting Thursday, and then there will be only three conference games at home in October. The Masters, Menlo, and Jessup all in a row with that Jessup game being senior day. So coach, thanks once again. Right. Best of luck in your first season. We'll see you out there tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank you.